right, we're on the road. This guy's been following me real close for like two and a half hours now. So um, we are headed to Vegas for Hot Rod Power Tour West. Uh, we're gonna drop the trailer off, do some stuff to the Cadillac, and then tomorrow morning, we will head out to Irwindale, California to meet up with the drive. So that'll be fun. Uh, we will do some updates as we go through. So turn notifications on for our stories if you don't already. Uh, we will be here. Sam's here. Say hi, Sam. How's it going? He is going to be uh, filming us the whole time and uh, helping us when we need it. So we'll have uh, some decent footage. We'll, we'll bring it to you as soon as we get it. See you later. Just got gas in Beaver. Uh, so far, getting pretty decent mileage on the tow. Um, we should be in Vegas in about three hours, something like that. So. We're about halfway and uh, everything's going good. Cars towing pretty good. We're not having any issues, so we'll keep going. All right, we just stopped at Mesquite to top off the tank. We're headed to Vegas. Another hour to go. Should be nice and smooth. Everything's going good. Oh yeah, we made it, Sam. We sure did. Mike's here too. All right, it is, uh, 721 in the morning. We just got gassed in the Cadillac and we are gonna hit the road. Say hi dad. Sam, hi dad. Sam's back there absolutely chilling in the couch that is the back seat of this car. And uh, we're gonna hit our way to Southern California. Should be good. We got the heater working, it's nice and toasty in here. And uh, everything's working good so far. So we will uh, let you know how things go and uh, update you throughout the day. Okay, we're coming up to uh, Brim. Uh, we're like uh, 80 miles into our trip. Uh, everything's running good. Driving smooth. Uh, it's really loud in here. We're gonna try to remedy that in Brim real quick. Uh, these wing windows, they don't, they don't open, they don't close. So we're gonna tape them up. That'd be good. So we, uh, we taped up the wing windows on both sides. So hopefully the uh, wind stays out for a while. We can talk inside. We're pulling into Baker. Everything's still looking good. We lost a couple pounds of oil pressure going up the hill, which is normal, uh, but it seems to be recovering and we're still cruising at 180 degrees. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna stop real quick in Baker to grab some food. And uh, Sam's back here, chilling. Dad's going good. My headliner fixed with a giant magnet, it's doing great. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep going. All right, we're rolling into Barstow. Uh, we have acquired a small hum, which is either a transmission or the rear end. But it seems fine. It's just humming a little bit. Uh, and also our exhaust leak is not doing great. So we're gonna try to remedy that tonight at the hotel. But for now, we're just gonna keep going. It's running good. So we'll keep on good bit on. So what we thought was an exhaust leak, we pulled over real quick just to check it out. And uh, the, the car plate has a hole mil melted in it. So that's fun. Luckily we're at Napa. So we'll try to see if we can find one here. The Napa did not have the riser plate, but they do have a thick gasket. So we are gonna try to see if that will work and get us where we need to go and then we can get back to the drive. And we're still in the Napa parking lot. Uh, what happened is on the intake manifold on the thermo quad, there's a little crossover um, that pulls some vacuum that is um, causing our problem. So we're trying to plug it because a lot of people do that. They just plug up the uh, vacuum crossover um, and we are trying to tap those and put some set screws in. But to do that, we ended up pulling the intake manifold off because there was a whole bunch of junk falling in there and we wanted to clean it all out. So we pulled it off. We're in Napa right now getting 
some uh, taps and some drills to plug that. We got some set screws and we are going to be back on the road, hopefully in the next half hour or so. And we'll get down to Irwindale. So fingers crossed. We'll let you know what happens. Long story short, when we were in the parking lot, we have a crossover tube that goes under the carburetor that uh, is not really needed and it burned a hole in the carb spacer we had. So we were just going to put a new gasket on, but the gaskets we found don't cover the holes. So we were gonna plug the holes, but the, the plug that we could find and the tap and all the stuff didn't work. It was just too much uh, time to sit and find all the stuff. So we found a guy locally that does uh, some welding and he welded those holes shut for us. That's a common thing that happens on this engine. We just didn't do it before. And uh, we are on in Uber headed back to Napa to put it all back together. We're back. All right, car's back running. It's idling good. We are gonna hit the road. Big thanks to this Napa. Big thanks to Bill that welded our intake for us. And we are gonna go to Irwindale. Hopefully we can get there by six. It is currently 3.15. traffic great but uh Wayne says we're supposed to be there at 6 15 and uh registration closes at 6 so fingers crossed that we can uh, save that little bit of time and maybe they'll be uh, gracious to us so uh we're still going it's now looking good for uh, our six o'clock it's uh, 10 minutes to six and we're sitting in traffic still um at least we're in Ontario. Ontario area um, but we're still I don't know four, miles 40 away. minutes from the from the track so hopefully we minutes. can uh, get there before somebody leaves but we'll uh, swing by and see what happens we're here but nobody else is so that's a bummer day one down uh, at least we made it so we're gonna go pick up a roll pan for the Buick and uh, get some dinner, go to the hotel, and we'll meet up again at seven when they're gonna leave here, so. Oh well. We got the roll pan, it barely fits in the car. In fact, we tried to put it in the trunk, but Sam's back there cuddling with it. Good morning, it's 6.15 in the morning. We got the car running, we are wrapped up in the hotel. Uh, we're gonna go get some gas real quick, make sure this thing's filled up. We're gonna hit Irwindale, try to find out if we can meet up with the Hot Rod Power Tour guys and get our credentials from yesterday. I'm sure that's uh, maybe going to happen, but uh, uh, unlikely. But we're going to try anyway. And then we're going to drive to Vegas and we'll keep you informed on how it goes. Okay, we made it to Irwindale. There's a line of cars and there's our heap here. And uh, we're going to see if we can find anyone from Hot Rod. So far I haven't found anybody. But if we can get our uh, credentials before we leave, that would be awesome. There's nobody from Hot Rod here, but we're all leaving, so we'll see what we can do. We have uh, witnesses that we were here, so well, fingers crossed. We're on our way, almost to Cajon Pass. That'll be interesting to see how all these cars do, including this one. we were yesterday when we spent like several hours fixing the intake but we're on the way back and we're with some friends and cruising it's gonna be a good time we're at the uh, checkpoint for the chips we'll see if I can swindle someone in to give me a credential and maybe some chips We did it! 
We got poker chips. We're hitting the road again. We are going into Baker, home of the world's largest fake thermometer. Uh, still running good, no problems. We got our poker chips, we're enjoying life, and uh, we're heading to Brim to get gas. We made it most of the way up uh, Baker grade. Um, we are cert starting to get a little bit of uh, fuel cut out um, going up the last little section here. So we just pulled over into this parking lot. Uh, we're gonna change the fuel filter because it's pretty gummed up with junk because who knows what's in this thing. Uh, we brought three extra filters, so we're gonna change them out real quick and then get back on the road. Now this is the weirdest bathroom I've ever been in. This is the urinal in the men's room. Okay, change fuel filter out. It was pretty full of junk. Uh, it's all running good now. We're gonna go put some gas in it real quick just to be sure we can get to Vegas and then uh, we'll be good. Well, we made it, uh, I don't know, five miles from our last thing. And uh, this hub's a little, little hot. And I started grabbing on the freeway. We'll let it cool down a little bit, see what we can do. If we can get it into town, we can put new bearings in. But um, we'll see. So we pulled the jack out and uh, <clears throat> this tire doesn't want to move very much. So we're gonna see if it's the brakes or if it's the hubs. The hub is really hot. So I'm assuming it's bearings, but we'll check it out and see. So, uh, Definitely bearings. That'll be great. So we'll have to figure out how to do that, how to fix this. Fun times. All right. Um, yeah, this bearing's pretty toast. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll get new bearings. They're on their way. So. Uh, it took us 10 minutes of beating on it with a hammer, but we got it off. Uh, the outer race and bearing were just shot so we're gonna see if we can get this off all right our uh, chase crew is gonna come help us um, the wheel bearing failed and welded the inner race onto the spindle so our guy in Vegas is gonna go and grab a cutoff wheel and some new wheel bearings we're gonna try to cut this off get it off of here Clean it up a little bit, put some new bearings on, and hopefully we can just make it the rest of the way, and uh, we'll be okay. Mint. Attempt 284. still waiting here it's uh it's been about an hour almost and uh our our chase crew is here in about 15 minutes or so and uh hopefully we can get this all put back together because i don't think i can get the uh the hub back on with the race welded to the spindle so that'll be a good time We'll get it going. I'm thinking that the hum we were hearing yesterday and all of today is probably that wheel bearing going bad, which we didn't expect because we repacked these wheel bearings with grease when we before we left, but we uh, didn't really pay much attention to how long those bearings have been in here. So probably should have changed them. Hindsight's 2020, but we'll hang out. We'll change it here. Mike's here. We have toys. All right, let's put this thing back together. I wish I had better news, but the the race literally welded. Like this part came off, but the top, this, this is under here. The top was literally welded on, so I had to grind it all off, try to clean it up best I can. We got the bearing to go back on. So it's not pretty, it's smooth though. So 
I'm not super worried about it. The bearing fits on and off pretty good. We're gonna put it all back together and it should be fine, but that was a good time. So uh, here's what's left of the outer bearing. They're uh, all welded together into pieces, so that's a good time. We're back on the road and I don't hear any humming, so that must have been the hum. <laughs> That was a day and a half worth of humming, and uh, we're going to Vegas. We have about an hour to get there. We have three hours to get there, so we can check in. Fingers crossed. All right, we made it to Prim. We're gonna put gas in this thing. Yay, traffic in Vegas. We made it. And they're going to probably give us credentials, but we'll still have to decide if we're going to drive this to Pomona or not. Because that'll be an interesting day. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. We're going to go get our credentials and our stiff. They gave us long hauler passes. So, now we have the important decision of how or if we drive this to Pomona tomorrow. Because it is stumbling a little bit. It's not super happy. But, that being said, we're here and we have the opportunity. Okay, we're back at the house. Uh, we got our uh, long hauler passes. Um, they're giving us a deal. They let us check in at Irwindale, even though we were late. And they gave us a check in here at Vegas. So we're still qualified for the long hauler plaque. Um, which is like most of the reason that we're doing this. And uh, tomorrow is gonna be uh, quite a day. So I think what we're gonna do is put the car in the trailer and drive the truck in the trailer down to Pomona, offload the car, drive it into Pomona, and then put it back on the trailer and drive it back here on Monday. So um, not ideal, but it's definitely cheaper than driving the Cadillac, especially if you keep having issues, but um, I, th I think we're still getting some like vapor locking trouble or something like that because the car will stumble every now and then, um, but it seems to recover and drive fine, so I don't really know what's going on with that um, magical carburetor things that I don't know. But anyway, uh, we're going to have a good night. It's about 5 o'clock. Um, we're going to go get some dinner and relax for the night and try to recover from today, and we have another 300 miles to drive tomorrow. So. Uh, we'll bring you what we can. It's going to be easier day tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Good morning. It is, uh, let's see, 7.19 in the morning. We're about to hit the road. We've got Cadillac on the trailer. We're going to go down to Pomona, unload everything at the hotel, and uh, then go and drive the car into the show. Um, the car has some like, seems like vapor locking issues or something like that. So we're going to try to drive it as little as possible, but it does drive fine for the most part. So we just don't want to drive it all the way down there, uh, up the hills and everything where it has problems. So we're going to have a cush day in the truck and, uh, we're getting gas real quick and we're going to hit the road. All right. We're going through Baker, home of the world's uh, biggest fake thermometer. Uh, still, again, I wish it was a, I wish it was a mercury thermometer. That'd be really cool and notable. But this one's just a digital sign that says the temperature. I, it's kind of cheap. But anyway, we're going through <laughs> Baker. We're on our way to uh, Barso. Everything's going great. We are rolling into Barso. We're gonna stop at Peggy Sue's Diner and see if we can get poker chips, even though the car's on the trailer. Fingers crossed we can uh, do that and then we'll be on to Pomona. Everything's going great. <laughs> All right, they gave us poker chips. So we're uh, stopping. We're gonna just kind of look around a little bit, stretch our legs and we'll get back on the road. Wouldn't be a proper trip through Barso if we didn't stop and get Del Taco. We stopped by AutoZone real quick to get some detailer spray, also known as brake clean, but we're we'll headed into the show in just a minute. <laughs> I made it to the hotel, we unloaded the car, everything's good, we're just gonna go drop our bags off and such, and head over to the show. We made it to Hot Rod Power Tour West here at Pomona Speedway. We are going to uh, go browse around and see all of the things that are here to see. 
Uh, the car started up fine right off the trailer and drove right in, so still going well. We are going to enjoy our day and uh, hang out with some friends. We got some buddies that are meeting us here, and uh, we'll show you what's here. Now, uh, my buddy Greg Thurman at GTA. We made it. Official long haulers. Even though we didn't do the second leg, we did a leg before the first leg, so I feel like we're justified. Um, yeah, the car is running fine. We have no problems here at sea level. I don't know what's going on with that vapor locking issue, but ultimately it doesn't matter because we're gonna tear it all apart when we get back to Utah. So uh, the car was a good time. We put uh, a little over 500 miles on it. Uh, the truck's super cushion. We don't have a problem on that thing at all. So it's been a great time to come down and enjoy the event today. We're still gonna walk around. This thing goes till five, it's only 1.30. So we're gonna walk around, watch some racing and enjoy the day. Thanks for watching. Weather Mex found us. Tim found us. What's your handle, Tim? Tim99 or something? Tim? Uh, I'd have to look it over. All right, Tim. Bradley's here. Sam's here. Dad's here. We're enjoying uh, Holly or a uh, Hot Rod Power Tour. Hot Rod Power Tour West. Oh, so how it's an open. How it's an open start. Oh, it's an open start. So once the green, the tree is lit, then they can go. up the day uh, our group of friends left and uh, we pretty much watched whatever we want to watch and gone through what we want to go through and we uh, had a successful trip they uh, let us get the uh, long hauler award even though we didn't do the last leg but we did a pre-leg so I feel justified in that and uh, yeah we're gonna go uh, back to the hotel get some food relax and we leave early tomorrow morning to head back to Vegas and drop that off and then head back to Utah. So, thanks for watching along. The, uh, this event's been really fun. Definitely recommend anyone that uh, likes cars. Just bring whatever you drive. Just come out here and run these kinds of events and participate. I mean, there's guys here in stock F-150s and stock Camaros. And I just now, for the first time, I just now, for the first time, saw the first Buick on this trip. Way over there with a the surfboard. So, it's a full thing. Anyway, see ya. Good morning, it's a little bit before 5.30 here in Pomona. Uh, we're getting gas and we're gonna hit the road, back to Vegas and back to Utah. We stopped at Peggy Sue's. We're hungry. We're coming up to Baker, home of the world's biggest fake thermometer. Uh, everything's running great. Just cruising on the way home. I wish we can go faster than 66, but 
alas, California and their silly highway laws. Can't wait to be out of this state. Yay! We made it to Vegas. We're dropping Dad off. Bye, Dad. See ya. We'll see Have you fun. in a little trip. while. Cars on the trailer. We're ready to go. Hitting the road. Apparently midday on a Monday is the day to go over the, the bridge in Arizona. If you know what the bridge is. Uh, I think this is the first time I've gone over this bridge in the last 10 years that um, there's no traffic other than just one truck being slow. We're back in the shop. We made it. Sam's here. Yep. Uh, Cadillac's back in the shop. Everything's good. It has been quite a weekend but we accomplished our goals we put like 600 miles on the cadillac um it still runs pretty good i mean we still have to figure out that vapor locking issue if we wanted to keep it like this but we're going to just tear it all apart and uh put a supercharged ls in there and some other goodies so uh for now it'll stay like this we're going to put it over in storage for a couple weeks we're going to bring the buick over here and do the motor on that and uh, it'll be good. Thanks for following along with our crazy shenanigans. We will do more soon and uh, we'll bring them to you when we do them. Thanks.